Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The blessings of the Lord Almighty, maker of heaven and earth be with you. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it if you consider his heavens, the moon and the stars that the Lord has set in motion. We don't deserve to come before the presence of the Lord. We are gathered here by grace. We are gathered here by God's unmerited favor. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Eternal God, maker of heaven and earth, we thank you once again for the gift of life you have granted us. We thank you for the opportunity to see a brand new day, Lord. We thank you that today, your Lord, you order our steps, that as you're about to listen to your word, you reveal yourself to us with your power and your might. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, our theme for reflection today is chosen from Nehemiah 6, 1 to 9. Nehemiah 6, the first nine verses. And the theme is, I am engaged in a great work for the Lord. I am engaged in a in the great work for the Lord. Nehemiah and Eka say yo, a brass samba like ni to buy a ni a town for no action no a person we in the Jerusalem. E di ne ko bebi ya. Na, na, aya ko yese. E di ne ko bebi. Ama wako ye bribi ba pebi ya na bribi ba. Nehemiah, e hun se de bi. En krofoyi e wo agenda. En krofoyi e wo agenda. So when you read Nehemiah chapter 6, 3b. I quote, said, I am carrying on a great project and cannot go down. Why should the work stop? Why I leave it and go down to you? Why should I leave the work? God purposely called me to execute his mission on earth. So Nehemiah said, I am engaged. People of God, how engaged are you? Are you engaged in sinning? Are you engaged in committing fornication? Are you engaged in committing adultery? Are you engaged in gossiping? Are you engaged in bibiting? Today, Nehemiah was engaged in nothing else but in the lost work, in the business of God. He was so engaged. Hallelujah. You know what happened? It, 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 uh, some commentator from Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 2 said they were scheming to harm me. This is Nehemiah saying, they were scheming to harm me. Ah, omo bopo bi ekume. Omo bopo bi asemi adentia. Nyamie juma mi yenti. And you know some commentators suggest that they were trying to kick or trick him into leaving Jerusalem. When he had armed support to come to a conference where they could set upon him and perhaps kill him. Nehemiah evidently senses this. He firmly declines, saying, I am carrying on a great project. I cannot go down. What a word. I am carrying on bedding be damso. Nyamie juma be damso. Jeremiah say, asamuna manka, na mini pediamu shishemi. Oh God, wherever you are hearing me, God has entrusted something into our care. God has anointed us to accomplish a vision. God has anointed us to accomplish a task in our families, in our congregation, in the whole world. The God has anointed us. That is why in Luke chapter 4, verse 18, when Jesus was given the scroll, he opened Luke 4, 18. That says, the spirit of the Lord is on me and he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set the captive free, to oppress those, to liberate those who are in, in prison. Jesus categorically stated his manifesto and because God anointed him to execute his mission. I came to tell you that God has anointed you to do his work. Ma wani nyi sa o ye nyami e juma. Ma wani nyi sa u prichi. Ma wani nyi sa o kain baibo. Ma wani nyi sa u di yesu wa dansi a chila fofro. Ma wani nyi sa o te kron kron yem. Be happy. Because that is why God brought you into this world. That is why the Lord had brought us into this world. And somebody pray Allah and say, Father. You have given me great work to do. Help me to see through the seeming golden opportunities. The seeming golden opportunities that, that may divert 
you from which the reason why God has called you. I pray for you. That never change your mind about doing the work of God. Never change your answer. why can it die? So that one day you come up boldly and declare, declare that you have fought a good fight. You have finished the race. What is red is the crown that Jesus will place on you. May God bless you. Don't forget, Nehemiah said, I'm engaged in a great work for the Lord. Put your name there. First time, put your name. I'm also engaged in a great work for the Lord. And therefore, I don't have time to do worldly things. Stay focused and do the work of God. May God bless you and keep you. May the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest over your life. But when you say yami afrao abani fie, it is a calling. It's a it's a noble call. May grace be sufficient for you. I'm Reverend Foster Kofi Ampo, Minister of Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Peace and life to you. Bye bye.